Taurus, welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're back to do your general love reading for the month of May 2021. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below while your cards want to talk. Um, you can also find me over on Instagram at Tarot by Annette. And feel free to book a private reading with me. The link to my website is down below in the description box. This is a general love reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. And uh, not all of the messages will resonate for every single person who watches, so please just keep an open mind. And remember, there is no expiration date on any of my readings. They can resonate at any time. All right, so in your overall energy, Taurus, you've got Medusa. Jealousy leads to downfall. You got a jelly nelly in your midst. Or maybe you've been the one acting jealous, okay? We'll find out more when I pull out some more cards here. Beware the green-eyed monster. Like Mama always said, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. All right. Jealousy leads to downfall. What else for Taurus for love and relationships? For the month of May 2021, general love reading, please, Spirit for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Whoops. Get a grip here. All right. Let's see what's in your cards. All right. So in your overall energy, you've got the Nine of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we've got ooh, the King of Wands. Got an old school playa here. The Fire King, Aries, Leo, Sag, Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter Energy, and ooh, the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra on the bottom is Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Okay, so you could be definitely de be dealing with a Sagittarius or another fire sign here, um, possibly someone with air in their chart. But um, you're very, very experienced. You've been through a lot and you are not giving up. You're persevering. Don't worry about what other people think, okay? Uh, people who are jealous uh, are dealing with their own insecurities and they're projecting their uh, insecurity, insecurities onto other people. Um, like I said, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Let it go. Um, King of Wands, this dude is very, very good looking. He's fiery, passionate. He may be a business leader, a boss, CEO in some sort of leadership capacity, but he, fa he passionately goes after what he wants. Um, you're also wrapping up some sort of karmic cycle here. Um, what goes around comes around. And um, there's some sort of karmic cycle or lessons that are wrapping up. You've been very, very patient. Uh, patient. Uh, patience is a virtue. Um, trying to find balance. This can also be reconciliation. Um, it's about you know integration, things coming together, um, and being very, very decisive using your intelligence here. It could be um, that there is you know a low vibrational feminine energy here um who wants your studly dude here or stud stu, studly woman whatever um but someone is being very cold calculating shrewd um queen of swords is typically a divorced or widowed woman she's single She's been through a lot. She has been through a lot. Um, she's very, very experienced. In her high vibration, she speaks the absolute truth, and people go to her for her wisdom, her advice. This person may be some sort of counselor, teacher, um, psychologist. 
um, may also practice medicine uh, or maybe an attorney. Very, very intelligent, well-educated person here. Um, been through a lot. And wrapping up some cycles here. You've been very patient. Uh, but you're about to take some action here. You're ready for things to move forward after you've made some sort of a decision. And you're not giving up. Um, you're very grounded, balanced. Um, you're just kind of allowing things to come together. I feel that you are being divinely guided and protected by Archangel Michael um, or loved ones on the other side here. And Spirit is trying to put something together. Um, they see you've been through some sort of a struggle. Um, and people don't want to see you do good. There's a lot of jealous people and haters around you. So just be aware of that. And don't want what you can't have or don't have. Don't compare yourself to other people. You just do you. Everyone has their own gifts, talents, and abilities. So we're going to grab another deck, and I'm going to clarify these minor cards, and then we're going to take the rest of your story over to Vimeo for an extended um, reading. And we're going to clarify and validate these uh, major arcana. I'm going to bring in some advice from Spirit and some love messages for you. So first... And I apologize for my neighbor's dog barking. I have a window open because it's a beautiful, warm, sunny day here. And uh, I am dressed up. I'm going to go actually meet a client to do an in-person private reading for her. Um, it, that's my sense of normalcy coming back now that um, things are starting to feel like they're getting back to normal again. So it just feels nice to get dressed up and get out and do in-person readings for my local clients again. It's such a blessing. All right, so let's clarify here. Why is this Nine of Wands here? Why is this Nine of Wands here? Wounded warrior. This person is not giving up. This is all about patience and perseverance. Yeah, because there's been a joker here. There's totally been a joker. And um, <laughs> this is like the fool. Um, there's a, a new start, a fresh beginning here. Um, someone might want to might wanna start over again. They, they've, this person might be the one who was jealous and caused a rift. And you, you cut this person off because you don't have time for anybody's baloney. And... <laughs> You left that person to deal with their own issues. And now they realize that they were kind of stupid. And, the, you know, the King of Wands is someone who tends to have a bit of a temper on them. They, they tend to act before they think. And then they regret things that they say, things that they do after the damage has been done. Um, so it could be that someone now because he's looking over at the patience card, at the temperance card. He's now wanting a fresh new start with you, a do-over. Um, again, you've wrapped up some sort of a karmic cycle, learned some karmic lessons. You've had a lot of bad luck, but this time luck is with you, and there's going to be some forward movement, and you're going in a new direction. We will clarify that further in your extended. Why is this King of Wands here for Taurus? You can't make this shit up. There's two jokers in this particular deck. There's going to be action taken towards a new, fresh start and going in a new direction. Um, that's wild. Joker's wild. <laughs> can't make this shit up. Um, I think both of you want to do over a fresh start. Um, you've both been through a lot. You've been learning a lot. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Why is this Queen of Swords here for Taurus? Queen of Hearts, Cancer Energy. 
She's the queen of love. It's the queen of cups. Um, somebody's got a lot of love to give, but they've seen a lot of grief and heartbreak in their lifetime, but they're not giving up. And they know that this time of bad luck is over. The, I don't know if, if you feel like this is some sort of a joke from the universe because you've had such horrible luck with love and relationships and just have had a lot of karmic partners that taught you a lot of lessons and you might have had, you know, attract a lot of jealous, possessive type of people. That's all coming to an end and I see a lot of new beginnings and you're, you're going to be ready now to offer love again. So just be patient. Um, I also feel for some of you, there's several different stories here. Again, it's a general reading. Everybody's on a different path. Um, for some of you, you may have somebody coming back to have a fresh start with you after they allowed their jealousy and insecurities to take them over and ruin this connection. They finally might now be ready to take action. They, they've been just trying to get their lives together and you've been patient. So there could be a do-over with somebody here as well. Um, or you could just be completely done with that person and both of you are off in a new direction. Again, everybody's situation is different. So let's take the rest of your story over to Vimeo. I'll put the link down below in the description box for your convenience and I'll see you on the other side.